<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Knit Girls. This is episode 370. I do like the even numbers. <laughs> like the zero numbers. It makes me happy. I'm Laura, also known as Lala, and I like zero numbers. <laughs> I'm Leslie, also known as You Don't Call Me Less, and I don't like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts. Apparently You're just... this is just random fact today. <laughs> You're just not knit. You're not. I must say, knitting them right. You're not eating them right. Have you had them like um, grilled with I, maple syrup? I haven't over them? had them since I was in middle school. Probably. Oh, I'll make you like. Anyway, I'll make you good Brussels sprouts. They're my favorite vegetable, by the way. <laughs> We're just gonna keep increasingly I odd like comments. Uh, I'm. It's okay. I like kale if it's been baked. I like kale in salads. I do not like cauliflower. I do not either. I don't care how well you can prepare it into mashed potatoes. Or I, smother it in cheese. It's still cauliflower. Like, <laughs> you can't get away from the base truth of cauliflower. Um. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so would you like to go first with knitting, or would you like me to go first? Why don't first? you go, since I'm trying to make it look like I finished something. Leslie is weaving it in, y'all. I am not. I am knitting on a sock, which is almost done. So I am on the red stripe, and when I get to the yellow stripe, which is two stripes away, then I get to start decreasing for the toe. So weird to see you doing a top-down sock. This is my second one in a month. How weird is that? And yet, I don't hate it also weird I don't know what's happening with my life anyway I'm knitting a plain stockinette sock with um, from the top down with a heel flap and that is not the usual method that I knit them I usually knit them from the toe up with an afterthought heel or with Wendy Johnson's gusset heel but I'm being different yo so this is the second one it's got around a five inch cuff on it. This is the Wonder Woman colorway from Desert Vista Works. These will be a Christmas present for my mama. I think. Clearly not a surprise one. I don't know if she, I don't know how often she watches. Wheezy watches. Yeah. That doesn't mean mom watches. That doesn't mean Wheezy watches all the time. Wheezy is a sometimes watcher. Mm. Um, so this is the first one and that's the second one. I think they'll fit her. I might have you try them on a little bit to see if they'll fit her. I have wider feet. We're about the same length, yeah. but mine are wider. That's okay. I like a little stretch in my socks. I like wiggle room in my socks. Leslie does not. I like to be able to wiggle my toes. I can wiggle my toes in my socks, but I don't know. I just think it's a difference of like pressure maybe because you know how like growing up with tube socks versus real socks maybe you know how I like a lot of socks. um autistic children like the blankets with the weights on yeah. them versus just a regular blanket or just it's... people in general yeah. yeah um i've been getting a lot of ads for wade blankets recently in my instagram feed i've been considering making one just to just to do it yeah. and then you know give it away to somebody that actually needs it and doesn't want to pay the three hundred dollars for it. um so there's a Mid-South charity that, Mid-South Autism Association that will take oh, that's cool. Wade Blankets. One of my coworkers who quilts, who's yeah. been in all the quilting magazines, um, not all of them, but right. she's been, she's had patterns in quilting magazines. Um, she does Wade Blankets because all three of her kids are autistic yeah. and she donates them. Right. I can get you information if you'd like. Yeah. All right. So I open my dragon water. <laughs> Tastes like it's, real dragon. Tastes like real dragons. Is this not the cutest thing ever? It's Dragon Whispers Polar Water. I found these unboxed, and I'm not telling you how much I paid for them. <laughs> for these little things of water. There's also a unicorn flavor, a Yeti flavor, and a mermaid flavor. It's like Mermaid Song. It's the mermaid flavor. So these have to be done by tomorrow. And I'm thinking I can do it. Oh, yeah. You're on the toe. Yeah. Well, I'm not quite to the toe. Uh, once I get to the brown, then I'll be on the show. So. Oh, I have every confidence you could do that. I might be able to get them done while the show's on. We'll see. These are hanging out in my Whimsy Stitches Halloween bag. Which is super cute. And a lot of times I fold down the top. But right now it's got Swedish fish wrappers in it because Leslie gave me Swedish fish. 
which is also fitting for a Halloween bag. And I have a wee bit of, I've got a good bit of yarn left. Not too terrible. Um, to add to my scrap pile. Because eventually, maybe December I'll do scrappy socks. Maybe I won't. I don't know. It all depends. So I ordered that Opal sock advent calendar. Again. <laughs> for this year. Not again. House of Yarn asked me if I wanted it. Vicky texted me specifically and I told her yes. Because I can't say no to Vicky. But because she's amazing. How could you say no to Vicky? But also because I want it. I was going to say, let's not... Vicky um, is in part of a kit for House of Yarn. It came out today. Did you see that? Mm -mm. It uses one of Amy Florence's yarns. Oh, cool. For vintage Christmas color, right? Yeah. Um, I think they sold out already. They, like, that would not they surprise me. They just had a few. Um, and Vicky did a bag. Vicky is our friend who does black cat bags, and she also works at House of Yarn. Vicky with no E. Yep. And um, so the Advent sock calendar, you get all these little minis. And I was going to knit them all into socks last year, and I knit, like, a pair and a half. So I need to finish them. Jess did this giant cow, cow thing. thing. Mm -hmm. She did. It looks really pretty. And then she did three pairs of socks. Yeah. I was going to say, I so. don't think I used all of them. No, there's 25 minis, so at, like, 20 grams each. So it's a good... But anyway, the place that had them, that was importing them for the U.S. was in California, where they had the wildfires. Mm. I should text Vicky and see. Anyway, um, so maybe I'll do scrappy socks for December for my last pair for the year. But Wonder Woman. I actually have Wonder Woman colorway and Superman colorway. And I think I have Batman and Robin. If I don't, I should get it. And then I could do, like, superhero scrappy socks next year. Well, you could do Superman socks for your dad and Wonder Woman socks for your mom. I already did the Superman socks last year. Oh. I just have leftover. Bits. Oh, yeah. It was, like, Man of Steel or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, and I like that yarn a lot, actually. I don't think I gave you the leftovers from that because it was in a center pole ball. Center pole ball. No, Weezy would like um, Batman and Robin socks. I don't know if I have that colorway. Or I don't think I do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It's like one of her August colorways. Desert Vista Dye Works dies on, like, a yearly schedule, so you can only get certain yarns in certain months. And then on her anniversary, you can get everything she dyes for, like, a week. Yeah as a pre-order and it's not like a i'm too posh to do it it's she literally has hundreds she has like thousands of colors, of colors at this point because 12 months and then there's like I, at least 30 colorways each month i know there are some that you can order anytime but yeah like the zombies she's doing um disney villain zombies hmm. i think the first one was maleficent it was cute i'm not into disney so yeah i know Anyway, so this is for my Desert Vista Suck Club, and almost done with the second one. I'm magic looping that on size zeros. Soft rockets. Um, other things that I have on the needle, I actually brought Even Star this time. Yay for remembering stuff. So. Even Star is at what percent? 52. Okay. So it's over the 50% hump. Um. Which is good, because that's due tomorrow, too, and I need to take a picture. Oop. So, it's, the windows are all done. I'm showing Leslie, too. Oh, yeah. And they're starting to do the decreases. Can you guys see? Yeah, so that's, like, the gothic windows. This part's done, and it's starting to... So, I'm on, like, row 34, 35 of 70-some on the third chart. Which, I wish I was through the third chart at this point, but we'll get there, for sure. I'm going to work on this some tomorrow, I think, before trick-or-treating. So this is out of my hand spun. It's a giant, huge shawl with, um, that is Lord of the Rings based. So, and I've wanted a hand spun version of this since Kimber of Fiber Optic had one in her booth. Um, so, but hers is a gradient mm -hmm. and is absolutely stunning. Mine kind of is, it's got rings of different colors. Yeah. You can kind of see that. Um, even though it was one solid color of fiber, really, it goes through like these dark and light patches, which is pretty cool. So I need to get back on that bandwagon. I keep saying that every month, every week and I knit like six rows a week and I need to be doing like 20 rows a week 
to get it done. And my needles do keep unscrewing themselves, so I have to keep screwing them. I have in. a that said I have a solid. Like it's a complete it's a connected they don't come yeah. apart. Hmm. I don't know. I might Let me see what else. I might have another set too. I know I have a twenty inch set because they're in the bag. Oh, I have the giant ones. And knitting that in my chicken boots bag where you can see my 20 inch set of needles this is my luna love good um bag and i have a good bit of yarn left for sure but it is deep like it is getting smaller which is good as it should be so it, i feel like it was the size of my head when we started it was huge so but you're I'm also over 50% of it, so. so yeah it'll get there um maybe some this weekend too I might take that with me to Disney is that a terrible idea you're looking at me like that's a terrible idea for the plane I would not personally but okay. you are a grown-ass woman and you can do whatever you like <laughs> I can that's the word on the street and then my last thing on the needles and even star is being knit on a size three needle. I'm mm -hmm. using signatures. They're interchangeables. Um, convertibles. Convertibles. Thank you. They got, they have a very fancy name. And it's going no like big upsets this week. Like stitches have not dropped off needles. Um, mainly because I've only worked like six rows in the past week. But it's been pretty chill. But I got that to 50% and then I'm like, ooh, I have no classes for Harry Potter House Cup, really. So I try to get the six classes every month. And I have, if I count those socks as being done, I have three. And this would be four classes done. Um, so I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Sorry, double points and I do not get along as a whole. So let me fix this. This is the Yoked Cardi by Hannah Fettig. This is the newborn size. Look how wee it is. It is teeny tiny. It's the cutest. And once it blocks out, it's In ripped. a very popular baby color of gray. <laughs> I think gray's the most perfect baby color. <laughs> the sample's in gray. That is true. It's a charcoal gray. It's wool of Andy's superwash. And one of the Harry Potter prompts this month was working gray. And I was like, I can totally do that. That's the one prompt that I am sure to succeed at. That knit matchy matchy socks. I got those two things down. So I am on the second sleeve. I started this last night during the Steelers game. So in 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, like in three and a half hours. It's a long game. It was a long game. Um, but it was a good one. The Steelers one. Not that you were going to ask me, but they did. And Juju Smith-Schulster is like my favorite new player. I might get his jersey next year. I haven't decided yet. He's the guy with the bicycle. I've been sending like in our group text, like bicycle updates. And I know Leslie's like. Some football player lost his bike and some porn star sent him a video. <laughs> oh, not the, something else. Not a video. She just said he was his our favorite and she's like, I'm uh, not I'm not playing your games because she's been involved in a bunch of pro scandals, I guess, where people send her direct messages on Twitter, like all these famous people, and then she just posts them. Which, after that happens twice... Once it's on the internet, it's there forever, dude. Why would you direct message her anymore? And that's what he was saying. He's like, I'm too smart for you. Um, and now I can't remember her name. And I it had no idea who she was until that happened. But anyway, he's... You're not like, up to date on all the young female porn stars? I'm not. Um, that, like, honey trap baseball <laughs> players? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, but... He So he's the youngest player in the NFL. He's 20 years old. And he rides to and from work every day to the Steelers Center on a bicycle. Like, because he has a, doesn't have a driver's license. But, um, some, and someone stole his bicycle from outside the training facility. But they got it back because Steelers fans are pretty awesome that way. And uh, Antonio Brown offered two Steelers tickets to the person yeah. who located it. No questions asked. Anyway. I'm using Likey double points. 
And I used my Likey short set on the um, actual knitting of this. I really like those needles a whole bunch. So You likey them? I likey my likeys. <laughs> they're not super sharp, but they're sharp enough to get the job done. And I like that they've got this like almost grippy section in the middle, so my stitches don't slide off. It's just like where a wrapper is. It says the size. There's a small change there, and it grips a little bit, which is nice. So hopefully that'll get done tonight. And then I'll have four classes. And this is in my Joanna Springs. Your chef bear. Chef bear bag. Let me see my chef bear. He's very mopey for a chef bear. And I'm using Wool of the Andes Superwash. I think I already said that. Two skeins, because it's 200 yards. So this is the second 100 yard skein. But I don't know that I'll get through the whole. You like just have I have that little bit. I almost. have two inches, and then I have a button band mm. on both sides. Yeah, so not too bad. And then I'll probably knit another one of these, because um, I need to rebuild the can it wardrobe for co-workers. So this is probably going to go to my co-worker who's due next week. And that is it for me for works in progress. And I have no finished objects, so it's the Leslie show for a while. I don't know about that. Leslie show! Look, I made you a theme song and everything. Thank you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um. Now I have to remember that so I can do it over and over again. So this week I've been on call and the weekend wasn't bad, but um, Thursday and Friday were not a ton of fun. So um, I don't have as much done as I would like, although I will freely admit that I totally used my work at home on Friday privilege to shotgun the entire second season of Stranger Things. But you were working at the same time. I was, and I, and I was on call. Um, so if I sounded a little grumpier on the phone when they paged me for the third time in like four hours, but anyway, um, Stranger Things 2, good season. Is that the one with the Eggos? Was yes. that in the first season or well, the second? It's, it's based on a character, but Eleven? she's in both. Yeah. Okay. Look, I know things. You do. I haven't watched it. Um... I know there's a line from it, mornings are for, um, for coffee and contemplation. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's set in, like, the mid-80s. It's got one in a writer as the mom of one of the young boys. That's she, amazing, because she is super 80s riffic. Yeah, and she does a fantastic job. Um, and the kids in this thing do a really great job. There was a scene in the second series where one of the kids had to have this, like, tearful conversation with his mom. And, like hats off to that kid. He did a fantastic job. Is it the one with the curly hair? No. Okay. Who's an opera singer, apparently. He also fired his casting agent because he had been accused of, um... Sexual assault? Yes. Mm. And so, like, people were on Twitter saying, you know, this 11-year-old can handle this. Why can't... Curious. Can make the right decision. Why can't adults? It was interesting. Anyway. Um... I spend too much time on Twitter. That is a possibility. <laughs> so I finished Sock 1. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this last week. Um, or maybe I wasn't finished last week. I can't remember. So this is Sock number 1 of Nomadic Knits. Um, Americana. Americana. I think it's the Twisty Sock Base. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. That's what you told me before. And I'm knitting these in roughly a size 9.5-ish. Um, I don't know if they'll be for me or for somebody else. I could wear them, but I think they would fit somebody who wears a nine better. Uh, and then I'm on the second now. I'm on the hated gusset. Um, I don't hate the gusset. I just have to pay more attention. Everybody hates the gusset. No. That's the rule. That's not the rule. So I finished the, the flap, and I'm on the gusset now. I finished the flap yesterday at Laura's while we were watching Great British Bake Off. <gasps> We found the new season. Season eight. Without Sue and Mel and Mary Berry. But it has I'm, the guy from the IT crowd. And I'm not certain. I like him and his Raven shirt. He's wearing He's ice very cream dark. Cones. Like, he's got a very sort of dry, dark sense of humor that I like. The other it's lady I don't know much about. Um, oh, my goodness. 
That's unfortunate. This is what I pull from the outside. Yeah. Um, that sounded a little I told you so -y. Sorry, that wasn't intended. But that is exactly the reason I pull from the outside. But, like, hmm, anyway. You can add or subtract twist by which direction you're pulling from. Well, Did you know that? I don't pay any attention to that. Mm. Um, whatever way I've been doing it, I've been doing it that way forever. So I must be making whatever change is needed. Anyway, this is um, slot number two. I hope to have this done by tomorrow, but there have been some points over the past week or so where knitting on these small needles has caused pain, like down Ooh. at the very bottom of my ring finger. We should over get here. that Carson Demir's book. Um, I don't know if I'm willing to spend 50 bucks on a book about posture and ergonomics. So he's going to be at Ply Away. Maybe he'll have his books for sale there. Maybe. And that will save us the like $10 shipping. So I then it know. would be like $40. Or maybe people who have it can give us their opinion. Yeah. Um, Cause 50 bucks is a lot to shell out for a book. Uh, it is, but from what I've been reading review wise, it's um, more like a textbook. Does that make sense? I don't want to read a textbook. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'll just let you read it and then you can tell no. me when I'm doing something wrong. Okay, middle schooler. Exactly. <laughs> they got the right idea. So this is uh, what's my left eighth of graders are doing research papers right now. Um, my ninth grader is at the pizza cafe down the road from his school because apparently they're having a study session there. His teacher is leading it. Yeah. I got one of those little remind notifications about it. Mm-hmm. That's a good place. I didn't think take. he would want to do it, but he does. I'm like, it's here's money. Go be social. Biology. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a class he's struggling with. Uh, yeah, here, I know. So but that's why I was double surprised. Double bonus. <laughs> I was like, you want to go and be social with people? That's amazing. And study. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done with my child? And who are you? I will pay you for that. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I didn't want to knit on What's that. What's he need to get picked up? Michael's going to get oh, in. Like well, that. I'm parked behind Michael. That's um, what I, I think in an hour or so. Okay. He's going to text him. So I've had this yarn that one of our viewers recommended uh, a while back when we were talking about wool and spun yarn. And it's, if I butcher the name, I'm sorry. It's Gilliet and... It's French. It's from De Rerum Natura. It is from France. Um, and it is sourced and dyed in France. And it is wool and spun according to... Semi-wool and spun according to Ravelry. Um... This is what's left of it. I pulled this from the inside and this from the outside. See how much neater this is? <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, when I bought this, I thought this was a gray, but it's much more purple than gray. That's pretty though. So I just got two colors. I think originally I was going to do like a fair isle or something. Yeah. But brioche. I was just sort life. of in the mood for brioche. Yeah. Um, and I wanted something simple so that while I was I shotgunning feel how this feels it up. Stranger Things. Hmm. It's not as soft as I would like it to be, but have you? But you haven't washed it yet. No, I haven't washed it. Okay. Uh, so this is just the simple brioche cowl from Pearl Soho. I've got it linked in the show notes. It's a free pattern. The only modification that I did to it was I didn't count the rows to make it match whatever they did. I just ended when I got sick of it. And I did the bind off in a separate color from the cast on. So it's just a simple brioche cowl and it's totally reversible because brioche. Two color brioche. Yeah. Huzzah. And. That'll be nice and warm for dog walking. Yeah, that's actually, that's what I made it for was for Michael. Um, although Aww. that was before I realized how purple. The, Maybe he won't realize. The gray was. But yeah, I mean, it's stretchy enough that you could wrap it twice. Maybe he don't, he won't realize. And stay nice and warm. But I also run warm, so this cannot stay on my body up here. Well, it's warm up in the upstairs of your house. Yeah. We're still playing the how long can we wait to turn on the heat game. Not that you would be able to tell up here. No. Also, like, that game ended for me last week. <laughs> because it got down below 32 degrees, and my house got into, like, 50 degrees. Oh, see, mine hasn't dropped below 60 yet. Oh, mine dropped below. I had mine set for 57, mm -hmm. and it dropped below 57 I think that's what we set house. ours at 59 or 60, but ours hasn't come on yet, so. At um, least at least downstairs. Well, I guess it wouldn't come on upstairs either. But. No, it's warmer upstairs. Uh, anyway, this was pretty quick, pretty easy. Um... 
I love me some brioche. And that's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Let me know some more. Yeah. So and hopefully Michael will think that gray is a gray. It needs to. Yeah, I need to give it to him in the dark. <laughs> like, here, stay warm. <laughs> right um, when he's leaving, do it then. Yeah, or I could just knit him another one in a darker color. Uh, There's wool here, I hear. There is. I'm not in danger of running out. There is Are no, you not? No need to be concerned. I am. Uh... <laughs> a lie that is a damn lie my coloring book yarn came today yeah i saw that order come through and i was like did we order coloring book oh i guess we did <laughs> so here's what happened she had two colors what happened was what had happened was she had two colors that i liked and so i just pm'd her to see if when she was going to have them in stock again and she's like oh i have two sitting around my house they're yours if you want them oh cool so then i had to spend money yeah um, all the prizes from Stash Dash and Patreon that are owed are gone. They're out of my house. Makes me Yay. Happy. So, um, that was yesterday. Michael Just doesn't time, time shipping stuff. Just in time to do, stuff. uh, more Patreon prizes yeah. next week. But it's a lot, like, it's easier for me to get motivated to get two things together than to get 11 things together. Yeah. So. That is a lot. Um. Wait till the Halloween prizes will have yeah, to go yeah, out, craft too. all the things, yeah. And they're all up here, but we can, I can write post-it notes on them with people's names when we draw. Um, yeah. Next week. November I have no 1st. spinning, but I am going to take down a loop bump because at Laura's house, so since, <laughs> since she got her sofa, she's got like several nests <laughs> in the living room. I just have two. So when I come over, I'm like, which nest <laughs> are you actually are you inhabiting, inhabiting today? today. But, and Pearl's got a nest too. Yeah. But she's got her mini her Hanson mini spinner um set up and she's just been working on a loop bump just slowly you know yep. spinning it super thin but she's working on it slowly and uh because it's for harry potter house cup but it's one of those things that can take over a month yeah so and sometimes i feel like spinning but not like enough that i want to come up and pick through a bunch of stuff and figure out what i want to do and what i want what we all want to do it on so that'll be a good like i just feel like spending for 20 minutes project yeah and the cool thing about loop bumps is you can make them as thick or as thin as you want when it comes to it and then they're great to navajo play so um like i'm spinning super thin but i've also spun stuff where i've barely drafted them mm -hmm. and they've been I've super spun, thick and chunky and we i did love one year, those too like lynn and you and mm -hmm. me and i think jess i've done like that a couple times and i've really enjoyed it yeah so after i do this one i might do another one i think i'm gonna spin it thin, thick. just to, just to see because it's not something i do often and it's yeah. something i can chip away at yeah. But I have no spinning this week. Laura has some. I do. I have two braids that I'm currently spinning, um, which is ridiculous. One is our SSK colorway from this year, and this is Tinkerbell's Unmentionables. It was dyed by Into the World. It's got yellow and a blue and a teal and a purple to it. And I'm actually going to three ply this. So this is the first of three bobbins. Cool. And I just chunked it. And I've been spinning away. I actually have two of these bobbins done. And um, I just have the third to spin. But I've run out of shocked bobbins. Hmm. So I need to ply my other objects. So I do have two bobbins of this done. This is Southern Cross Fiber Cordale in the Splendor colorway. And I just um, divided the braid in half and spun each half up not really paying attention much to color there it's pretty um i think it'll come out to like a worsted to apply and these are both done and ready to apply so this just needs plied the problem is i have that loop bump on my hansen so i'm either gonna have to break break it and take it off and then ply or ply on my ladybug which i have i think one bobbin left for so i could so or apply on a different wheel yeah um, but my sidekick bobbins I use for the ladybug too. So I could use the Lendrum, which also has a project on it. You could take the, um, little footy one. Hmm. It's got a woolly wander. Yeah. I don't know if I want plying on that to be my first project on that. I don't know. We'll see. There are lots of options. So 
I'm going to play this tonight when I get home, I think, depending on what time I actually leave this place. And then I'll spend the next third of this as I give away Halloween candy tomorrow. And then ply that real fast. And um, turn in those, and that will give me six finished projects for House Cup. Look at me. You are a machine, my friend. I don't know about that. I mean, I have a lot to get done tomorrow. Plus, like, taking pictures and turning everything in. So there's a lot of things that I need to get done. And really, I just want to stay home and read all day. Like, it was hard getting out of my nest today. If I hadn't had the book fair at work. And wasn't taking off two days next week. And then two days the following week. So next week, I am going to the Disney Florida. retreat put on by Ross Farms, which is super exciting. Magical fiber. fiber fantasy. Yes. And then the following week, I will be in St. Louis for um, the National Association of English Teachers convention. So within a week, I'll be in two very different states. But it'll be fun. And while Laura is in Florida and her parents are watching Pearl, I'm going to go to Oklahoma to visit oh, a friend. Oh, are you? Good. Yes, that I haven't seen in ages. Well, Mom will miss seeing you then. She is excited about seeing you. Yeah. When are you leaving? Uh, Friday sometime. Okay. Well, they'll be there Thursday. Yeah. And, um... Mom's coming Wednesday. Mom and Dad are coming Wednesday night at some point. For, okay. So they'll be there during night night next week. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So all those things will be happening. It's a lot going on. It is. I need to... I've ordered all the things that I need for my classes. Um, like, I'm taking Oral-B Super Floss for the beading class just because it's a little bit harder to find. It's easy for me to bring, you know, a couple boxes versus yeah. um, having people go out and buy it if they don't like it. And then the threaders, dental floss threaders, just arrived from Amazon today. Yeah. I had a bunch I could have given you. Oh, well. <laughs> I've still got a bunch from when I had braces. Oh. And every time I went to, you know, they give me a, another bunch of them. But I used the Oral-B Super Floss is what I preferred, so. Oh. And it had a stiff enough end that I didn't yeah. need the threader. Well, I couldn't find threaders, like, at Walmart or Target the other day, so. I just, they were $2 on Amazon ah. as an add-on item, so when I bought a book that I'm reading, um, I just threw those in there, too. So, what are you reading, my friend? Um, a couple days ago, I, so I use, um, Amazon. Between Amazon and Google, everything about my life is out there somewhere. But, uh, <laughs> Amazon, I subscribe to their Kindle Unlimited, which is like nine bucks a month, or nine or ten bucks a month. And it allows you free access to something like 5,000 titles right now um, under Kindle Unlimited. And then there's a bunch... Well, 5,000 is how many that have audible narration along with them. Okay, I was wondering because I much feel more, like there's a lot more yeah, than in that. in Kindle Unlimited. And you can also do magazines in Kindle Unlimited. Mm -hmm. I've not done that because I don't typically read a lot of magazines. But I'm going to check and see if they have like Scientific American and stuff Michael might like yeah. that he can add to I his I think tablet. they have Popular Science. Um, so I started a new Kindle Unlimited series and it's, um, fantasy paranormal called Slouch Witch, which is by Helen Harper, I think. And, uh, I like the main character a lot cause she's sort of anti-establishment and I'd rather be sleeping than, you know, dealing with other people's nonsense. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I like her and I finished the first book. I can tell that there will eventually be romance. Yeah. But it's I can slow tell that by the cover. burn. <laughs> like slow burn. Um, I'm into the second book. I'm about a quarter into the second book called Star Witch. Um, but it's a whole series. If you're on Kindle Unlimited, you know, download it and give it a try and see what you think. I like that a lot. I am listening to Cycle of Iran, or Cycle of Iran still. Um, this is one by Edward W. Robertson, but it's narrated by Tim Gerard Reynolds, who I really like, but it's long. It's 55 hours. Whoa. And I'm like... That is super long. 11 hours into it. And it's good, but it's one of those that, like, I end up 
like spacing out. Yeah. And I 20 can't. minutes have gone by and, and I have, have no have idea back. what's yeah. happening. Those are books that I like to read versus listen to. Yeah. Um, and that might be what happens. But, uh, I mean, I really like the author and I like the story, but something about it just, it, it's hard it's not clicking to capture for you. my attention. So I end up hopping back and forth to the podcast I talked about last week. My dad wrote a porno. I'm on the last season now, so I'll be done by the Aww. time we record again, and that will make me sad, because it is hilarious. Well, they'll have new seasons coming out yeah. soon, probably. So, if you listen to that podcast, and you have other podcast recommendations that are, you know, just in that sort of humorous Humor. um, vein, you should give me a recommendation. I would I would like to do that. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much what I've okay. been reading. I've been reading some middle grade stuff and some YA stuff. The middle grade, they're by the same author, actually. Uh, the middle grade book was Patina by Jason Reynolds. It is the second in his track series. The first one was Ghost. It is um, The series is about four different kids that are running for various reasons. And Ghost, um, the main character is Ghost. The running books are like named track. after. Yeah, okay. running like track. Um, and they do different events. But in Ghost, which is the yellow cover one, they all have different color covers. Um we find out that Ghost's father tried to kill both him and his mother when he was drunk with a gun. And so, like, he talks about hearing that shot go off near his face and kind of, like, moving faster, and that's what started him running, and he really hasn't looked back. And it's about his journey as a character. They're all character-driven books. Um, and Patina, the main character is Patina, and she has a little sister, and she is being raised by her aunt and uncle because her father died of a heart attack when she was very small, when her sister was just maybe two years old. And her mother, um, he was a baker, a chef, and um, her mother like started making all his favorite recipes and just kept eating and had diabetes mm -hmm. and eventually lost both her legs to the disease and wasn't able to take care of her. So now she's being raised by her uncle and um, his wife, and it's about her struggle to take care of her family because um, she feels like she has to take care of her family as well as being taken care of. So typical middle grade stuff. Um, definitely on the 5th to 8th grade reading area, um, which would be you know 10 to 14 if you're talking about ages. And then Long Way Down is his new book that just came out last Tuesday. It's a novel that's written in verse, so it's poetry format, and it is about a boy whose brother is killed in an altercation using a gun, and he gets on an elevator with that same gun to go perform an act of justice, and as he is traveling on the elevator, every floor the elevator stops, and someone new, who is not alive, gets on, that adds to the story of how this situation came to be. So I'm really interested in it. Um, he was on, Jason Reynolds, the author, was on CBS this past week. So the interview was really, really well done. He's really cool. And from what I've heard, because um, one of my coworkers has been on a panel with him before, he's a really cool guy. So I am going to sit in on one of his panels at NCTE, which I'm super excited yeah. about. So I'm getting that. I want to read... The majority of his books. Right. I've read a bunch of them already, but I want to read more before I see him in person. Of course, as you do. I think that's good, especially if you want to have intelligent questions or comments. or. Yeah, well, he's a really interesting guy, and I like his books because he opens my eyes and kind of creates empathy, um, kind of like The Hate You D Give does, mm -hmm. to situations that I have never experienced. Right. Um, so... I enjoy his books for that. Sometimes books need to take us to some place that we will probably never experience. And this is one of those books for me. I think that can make a big difference in empathy levels as to how you're exposed to topics like, you know, racism or, or white privilege or, you know, gun violence. Uh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. all these different things, different cultures. I think that the way that you're exposed to them can have a big impact on your own reaction. Oh yeah. So I agree. I appreciate people that can bring the topics, you know, in, in a non-combative way. Yeah. 
um, let's see, what else do we have? And in a not, like, preachy way. Yeah. Like, they're not preachy books. They're not books where you are meant to learn, like, a moral lesson from them. Right. If that makes sense. He started writing um, kids' books because there was a lot, there still is a lack of books with African American protagonists. I would say minority in general. Oh, I yeah. Mean, whether it's any kind of minority, um, whether it's depiction of people who are handicapped mentally, mm -hmm. physically, um, you know, gender fluid characters, anything like that. I came across my first um, gender fluid in a paranormal um, romance a couple of weeks ago. Hmm. It was a very interesting take on things. So Magnus Chase has a gender fluid character. Oh yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah. So, yay for new cultures mm -hmm. and new experiences and exposure to new things. Anyway, um, so that is what I have been reading. Like I said earlier, I will be journeying to Florida, Orlando, and on Thursday I'm going to be going to Harry Potter. I'm so excited! That's awesome. I'm uh, glad you decided to do it before. I think that. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I don't know. I, I think that there will be less stress for you on the day that you're coming home. Yes. And then if I have time on that day, I can always do something else. Right. Or if you but, really want to, pop back over. I mean, yeah, that's true. Um, but one of our viewers is actually going to meet me, and we are going to hang out. And it's her birthday. And she works at Harry Potter Diagon Alley, so it's going to be super cool. I'm that's super awesome. excited. So she can take you to all the, like... Yeah. Inside cool spots. Yeah. So, um, and you know, that's going to be super interesting and neat. And I guess there's like a crazy amount of different ways butterbeer is served. Really? Like hot, which is what I think of with the book. I think of cold. But cold. Like, like cold a and soda. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a bunch of different ways. So I'm just super excited. Hmm. If you guys have any tips or tricks of things not to miss in Orlando, just I'm not going to have a lot of free time because I am going to work. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is actually for it is a job. A job. And I like to take stuff like that very seriously. But on Sunday, I will have a little bit of time. And Thursday, um, my flight gets in around like 1.30. So I'll have a little bit of time then too. But I'm pretty much booked Friday, Saturday. Which will be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the folks from Ross Farms and yeah. see some other people as well. I've never taught in Florida before. Adding it to my repertoire of cool so places. Fancy. Yeah. Um, one of my other places that I'm teaching, I think it's announced this week. So then oh, I, I was share. just going to ask. Yeah. yeah. I figured it would be soon. Yeah. And then we got tickets to fly away. So we yes. are definitely going. So Saturday, um, I woke up and Leslie woke up and we got our classes. I am taking um, The Gentle Art of Plying with Judith McKenzie and another class with her about blending fiber composition, which sounds really, really interesting and totally up my alley. And then you are taking indigo, right? Uh, yeah, it's natural dyeing with a fair amount of focus on indigo. And I can't remember the teacher's name, not because she's not fabulous I'm sure just because I didn't really make a note of it um and but, mom's gonna be there too yes yeah um and not Sarah. in that particular class I no she's taking a uh, wheel mechanics box and then what to do with mystery fiber boxes which is really interesting to me because I don't think she's ever gotten a mystery fiber box but whatever mom whatever makes you happy and then um what else a, a weaving class with Judith hmm that Saturday morning weaving class. And maybe one other one? Did she take three or four? Now I can't remember. I don't know. I think I don't know, but if you see my mom at Ply, you should totally stalk her. Because it freaks her out and it makes <laughs> me laugh. <laughs> it is so funny, though. It, it's amusing the first time. <laughs> I'm not certain that she would find it as amusing anymore. <laughs> Although maybe she's built up a tolerance. I don't know. She's like the nicest person she ever. Is. So she's not going to be like, why are you stalking me? Crazy person. But it is amusing when she gets stalked and she has no idea why. <laughs> um, vendor signups for SSK. The applications are, are open and linked on the site. They'll be open until uh, next, next week, week, next Thursday, I think. Um, it's linked on the... It's like the 9th. The 
application form. The dates yeah. are listed there. So, um, and then we have half of the teacher contracts signed back, so we're just waiting for the other half. And then we'll announce all the things with signups for the event. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you all for being patient. I know we're around a month later than usual, yeah. but really there's no hurry. Yeah. Um, it's less time for you to have to wait after you hear back. You know, It's so. more time for you to save up money. Yeah, that's true. So, I think that's it. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? No. Happy Halloween, everyone. Yes. The, I uh, feel like that's an international holiday. The lady at, when I went to pick up my crazy pills at CVS, I also bought lots of chocolate. And she's like, you know, I think for Halloween, I'm just going to eat all my candy. I was like, you joke, but I plan to turn off my porch light. <laughs> and sit. And, and sit and eat Reese's cups. Although, now, I just found out that I can't do that because my husband's brother is getting married tomorrow night to his long time like they've been together fiance like yeah. eight years or something they, they have a house and together. all that yeah they just decided they wanted to get married on halloween so i can't fault them i got married on april fool's day that's my sister's yeah oh that's right that is beck and matt's yeah so their anniversary is tomorrow i should call them and wish them a happy anniversary tomorrow yeah they so. eloped to virginia and i got a virginia's for lover sticker and told no one for months yeah, close to a year. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty funny. Um, oh, my family's weird, y'all. But I fact. love them so much. They're good peoples. I'm never going to finish the gossip. Okay, well, you guys you have a lovely week. And we will talk to you again next weekend. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.